I've served on the board of Energy Transfer for several years, and for the last two years, I've been chairman of the board of Sunoco. Kelsey's leadership in the energy industry is very unique. He saw a niche in the pipeline business and in the MOP sector that other people did not see. It's just the classic case of someone who comes to Dallas with a great idea and people are willing to back him and he's able to build a great business that employs thousands of people and leaves a better mark on the city. And in addition to that, he realizes now that he's built such a great business, he gives back to the city, whether it was with Clyde Warren Park or so many other ways that he's contributed back when I reflect back on my friendship with Kelsey, I think of all the great times that we've had over these years. We both grew up in small town environments. I think that that helps our, what formed our bond because we kind of understood each other and understood where we came from and kind of where we were going. He's a guy that has a unique ability to see all the different angles and makes good, positive decisions. He's really not only understand and sees the visionary guy, he's also the guy that motivates. Kelsey and I both love music. I'll never forget the time in his dining room area <laughs> and we were sitting and I was strumming an Eagle song. And then Kelsey sat down and started trying to fiddle with it. And I take credit for him starting his music industry talking about Cliff Harris Stadium. It materialized through the help of Kelsey, a major contributor into that. And I tell him that he can come to the football games there anytime he wants. The first memories of the business that we started uh, on the power side, Kelsey was talking about electricity being deregulated. He said, Cliff, this is going to create a great opportunity for us. Kelsey, congratulations. When I first met Kelsey, the first meeting, we had knew he'd been a president of a publicly traded company before, knew he'd been a gas trader. But when he walked in the office, I was taken back how young he was and how understated he was about his background. He just answered questions knowledgeably and gave us assurance he was the right guy to do it. We've all heard an expression, he's a natural leader. And if you put 10 people in a room, one would emerge as a leader and that's Kelsey. That's his personality and that's the ability he has to lead men and women. I'm just really honored to have this opportunity to say a few words about a man that I respect tremendously. He has lived the great American dream. Coming from modest background in East Texas to becoming a, a tycoon in uh, not only Dallas, Texas, but in the nation. I will say success has not spoiled Kelsey at all. He is a humble, modest, uh, almost self-deprecating individual. He doesn't really take credit for anything, although his accomplishments are tremendous. He is the best partner I've ever had in anything I've ever done. I think Kelsey's legacy, obviously before the park, was defined uh, by energy transfer, and that, that'll be part of his legacy. But I, I have a feeling, uh, and this is just my opinion, that his greater legacy will be Clyde Warren Park. It will live for a long time. Corporations get bought, you know, they disappear for other reasons. But the park, we hope, will be here for hundreds of years. And getting better all the time. His dad would be incredibly proud of what a man Kelsey Warren has become. The reason Kelsey is successful is because he's got a great eye for talent. He brings that talent around himself and then he lets them go do what they're really good at. There are some great names that come to mind. George Mitchell, who created hydraulic fracturing. Kelsey Warren, who will be in the same breath as them in the midstream. Kelsey has been focused. He's been highly principled. I've always been surprised for a, a person who has a public persona. He's not interested in being the guy out in front. 